All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one will be doing our weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon spinoff series. This is now for the third episode. It is called Paris Will Always Be Paris or Paris Sera Toujours Paris. Alright dudes, and minor spoiler warning, if you have not seen this episode yet, you want to watch it before the uh, review, but there's nothing in it that's too like, you know, major character deaths or anything like that just yet. Series is still getting going, we do know it's been renewed for that second season, so that's going to be great to go ahead and get to see a second season of uh, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. So, I've uh, been loving the series so far, if you guys missed it this week. We did a comparison video versus between the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon spinoff series and the Walking Dead Dead City. And, um, you know, I pretty much said in it, and I think most people uh, agreed, at least it got uh, about 100% thumbs up for, uh, I think, a while. It might still, or maybe a couple thumbs down now after, after it being, you know, up for a while there. But most people agreeing, for the most part, I think that the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon is fantastic. It's really, really well done, and uh, Dead City may get more ratings than it. Uh, might be more popular, I guess, um, with The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon getting about uh, 0.6 uh, million U.S. viewers uh, for the regular stuff. But yeah, there's AMC Plus, and there's you know the other other uh, options of, of watching it as well. Um, so Dead City might have had a little bit better uh, ratings, it seems like, but um, in terms of you know, quality, I think everybody agrees that The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, is some of the best uh, Walking Dead uh, episodes we've had in quite a while. I've seen some sites calling it like the best Walking Dead episodes in many years, four or five years, six years, whatever. Um, and I don't know if I'd say that. Episode two is really great. Don't know if I'd say like it's better than, uh, but the quality of it is super high. I mean, really, really high quality stuff here. Uh, parts of it even reminding me a little bit of Last of Us, some people comparing it also to Last of Us. You can see in this one when they go, Isabel and Daryl go uh, to her, um, uh, her home that she lived in originally before the zombie apocalypse. You can see a lot of the shrubbery that's grown over and stuff. It reminds me a little bit of the Last of Us and kind of the uh, overgrowth and just kind of the the way uh, uh, Paris looks and everything. And, um, you know, so it's really cool. But some of the zombie burners and stuff, freaking sweet to see. Uh, some of the walkers, like, uh, you know, running out windows and falling down and kind of like exploding around them and stuff. Or just kind of, you know, breaking apart and everything. Uh, really brutal, really cool. We even get to see a, a kind of a kid zombie in this one, which is uh, Amy is the little girl's name. And so she's zombified and she's like, I don't know, how old would you say she is? Maybe five? Something like that. Maybe six. I don't know. Um, so that's a, uh, it's just the environment is, is really amazing, really great in uh, Daryl Dix. And this one we get to see some cool different environments. We get to see this nightclub that uh, Quinn has been running, uh, which goes back to for Isabel before the zombie apocalypse started. And we find out in this one that uh, Quinn may be um, uh, Laurel's uh, uh, dad, possibly. Um, not sure if he's telling the truth 100%, but that's what he says. Maybe it's, maybe it's true and that he is. And so uh, some good stuff there with um, with uh, uh, Laurent and um, Isabel and Quinn as well. We get uh, Codron back in uh, this one going after Daryl um, for a lot of reasons. For him, revenge, but for the uh, greater group that he's in contact with, likely for information because, you know, Daryl is such a rare... Um, you know, a person for them to meet. He's got a lot of info with respect to the United States, the Commonwealth, different places there, what groups are around there, just a lot of information that, uh, you know, they would likely want to get their hands on. Um, so we'll likely want to, you know, hunt him down, capture Daryl, and uh, take him in to get as much info as they possibly can about, you know, what's happening over there for some of these, you know, some of the greater groups that are still alive and still 
um, you know, doing well in uh, in the zombie apocalypse in France. And this episode is, uh, you know, I feel like the episodes are kind of longer for the Daryl Dixon spinoff series. I think they're a longer run than the original Walking Dead TV series was. They're like maybe 15 minutes each or almost that long because uh, we get to see a lot in this one is uh, again as well with Daryl basically looking for a radio or looking for a chance to want to get out of there and get back to the United States. Um, they go to see, I think it's Angers, is that the uh, town that they go to? And they meet a, a zombie musician who's like this crazy, crazy guy who's like, uh, you got a zombie orchestra going and he's like, he's like, um, you know, um, I don't know, uh, having these zombies kind of play uh, instruments sort of with their, <laughs> their stuff, uh, kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Zombie orchestra, kind of awesome, but it's just like a little part at the beginning. And then they go to uh, Paris and uh, you have Jim Morrison's grave, which is kind of cool, uh, that Daryl points out. We've got um, uh, Falou, I think is the, the character's name, and uh, he kind of is sort of like the leader of maybe a group of just survivors there in Paris. And um, you've got the Eiffel Tower and everything. Um, you know, you've got them kind of surviving there. They're using pigeons to communicate. Um, no radios there either, so he's not finding much. And then uh, after that, they do the, uh, for, for trade, in order to get something, they go to Isabel's place. They get some of the goods from her. I think she has some uh, some blow and some other stuff there, jewelry and stuff like that that's maybe valuable for trade. Then they go to the nightclub and see some uh, uh, drag, uh, lady guy in drag, whatever, <laughs> uh, which is kind of cool. Um, and then we have uh, sort of the stuff with Quinn and then Kodron showing up uh, afterwards and kind of the final fight uh, sequences in the episode, which are really cool, of Daryl versus Kodron, and uh, Daryl kind of getting away, maybe falling in into a roof or something, where likely he'll be able to hide or, or escape and, and get away from the soldiers that are after him. So I'm going to give the episode an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's, again, a, a lot of fun. Uh, there are parts of this episode I think dragged a little bit, um, but, you know, again, it's a little bit of a longer kind of run for these episodes a bit more than Walking Dead. So, you know, original Walking Dead series, 40 minute time uh, frame, 42 minutes, whatever it is, they might've cut some of the stuff in this one, but it's, uh, you know, it, the environments are amazing. They're really cool. Uh, I think Isabel, uh, Laurel, and uh, Quinn are great characters. I think Kodron is an awesome bad guy for Daryl uh, to fight against and everything. And definitely makes sense as to why they would want Daryl, uh, just because of everything he knows and all that. So, very cool. The zombies look as good as ever, if not in some ways better. Um, you know, with the burners and stuff are really sweet. Like when Daryl takes the one, uses the burner to kind of uh, like, I don't know, melt his way through sort of uh, the glass or at least uh, loosen it up so he can get one of the doors open so they can get through. And uh, wow, yeah, it's it's really great stuff, guys. Really enjoying the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon spinoff series. Really happy they did it. I do understand, though, if uh, maybe the ratings are a little lower because it might be something that's a little bit, a little tricky for, you know, Americans to kind of relate to. Um, they don't usually watch too much French, uh, you know, entertainment or have much interest in that, right? So I do kind of understand that, but it's a great environment uh, that feels totally different than the United States. Whereas with Dead City, you got New York, which is really cool. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of familiar. It's not that much different. But to see in the Daryl Dixon spinoff series, it's just way different, totally different. And uh, if you're okay with subtitles and kind of trying to figure out what's going on, then I think, I think you'll really like it. So episode three, not a disappointment, eight and a half out of 10, uh, still a good episode and looking forward to seeing, um, you know, the rest of the first season and, um, you know, if Daryl eventually can find a way back. But like Quinn says in this one, it's not impossible, but damn, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be difficult for him to do it. Like uh, maybe, or maybe not a radio, maybe I'll have to start looking for a ship or something like that. Maybe go to the docks and see what he can find figure out if he can, you know, make it on his own, but it'll be, that'll be a, a long way to go. And the chance of getting across, there's always a chance that, you know, he could sink or something um, and won't, uh, won't make it. So it's going to be tough for him to find that while also he's got this, uh, this group, uh, you know, tracking him down that want uh, revenge, 
uh, for him just, you know, surviving and, and having to kill some people and the usual stuff that, uh, that they have to do. Thumb this review up below before you leave. Uh, subscribe at the bottom if you haven't already. Click the bell to turn on the notifications to see more reviews from me. Uh, thank you guys for everything. Lots of fun. And maybe we'll be back tonight for a live stream. So for this one, see you guys again soon for another review. It's Travis saying peace. There, guys. See you soon.